Yes, I do need all of these. No, I still don't drink that much water. Yes, I call these the hot girl walk of hydration. Something human should really be doing anyway, we had to spice up. Move over hockey. This is the new Stanley Cup. <laughs> I could sell these for three times the price I paid for them. Oh, are you going to? No. Cool. Some pure genius thought of this. A cup with a handle and a straw? Move over, Elon Musk. Mark <laughs> Zuckerberg. I'd inject this into my veins four or five times. Thanks, Bill Hydrates. It was a Bill Gates vaccine joke. <laughs> All right. What's your body doesn't tell you when to drink water? No, Stanley does. <laughs> I don't like all this time hanging out with a Stanley guy. Who is that? Flex on him, Katie. Flex on him with the Stanley mug, all the water bottle. Is that making you drink more water? Um, no. Okay. Oh, Jake. I didn't know we were gonna. Oh, what, what is that? Uh, it's a, like a two week old. Um, it's Propel. Remember that from eighth grade? Propel. They're still Propel. selling it at gas stations. Still make that? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, and if you're on a no sugar diet, it's one of the best things that you look forward to. Propel. The bottles Dude. used to be way cooler though. Remember, they were kind of like Katie, the cool just, twist top. Uh, pile that it you on. Would. Just yeah. propel. I'm happy. I didn't okay. know there's. Well, stay hydrated, everyone. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the beginning sketch. Watch on YouTube and Facebook. Kate, we have six of these now because Katie's very excitedly panic bought them because they're available. She's like, I could I sell sure these did. for a lot of money. I have not sold Don't one. Don't foresee her <laughs> getting in the Facebook Marketplace game. So if you need a mug, call us. We don't have that many extras. Okay, don't do it. Um, <laughs> we're back with Correct Opinions. Great episode today. It is October. Spooky season. Jake, get spooky. Okay. <laughs> well, roll me, don't do it. Oh, roll music. Correct Opinions. Correct Opinions. Well, did you, what, did oh, you do that? What? what? That's oh. another sale on Shopify. Oh. That's right. The new Shopify sales sound, the all-in-one commerce platform to start, run, and grow your business. We're releasing merch soon. Hey and we're powering it through Shopify. It's been easy peasy to get going. Uh, we can't wait to get you all that merch. Oh, yeah. You guys are going to love it. And it, it's never been easier for us to sell things on Shopify. If you guys have anything in your lives that you're trying to, uh, you know, Sell online. It cannot be easier with Shopify, so check it out. Sign up for a free trial at shopify.com slash correct opinions. All lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash correct opinions to start, start selling online today. Shopify.com slash correct opinions. We want to see what y'all got out there. This is Possibility powered by Shopify. Uh, whoa. Oh, oh, what come on. Ah, I was trying to train your brain. <laughs> It's not as easy as it looks, is it? No. Do you have a better way? Uh, yeah. A therapist can help you become a better problem solver to train the brain to be in problem solving mode. Now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. Better help, mm -hmm. if you prefer enunciated versions. If you're thinking of giving therapy a try, better help's a great option, isn't it? Oh, it sure is. It sure It's convenient, accessible, affordable, and it's entirely online. Yep, I've done therapy. It really helped me out, and better help's a great way to do it. So when you want to be a better problem solver, therapy can get you there. Visit oh. betterhelp.com slash correct today to get 10% off your first month. We love better help. You will, too. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash correct. Were we rolling yet? Was that like a real intro or is that just like the practice one? Uh, that was the one where you took your shirt off? Yeah. That, no, that was, yeah, we can edit that out. Okay, well, I just cool. saw a ghost. I didn't really see any. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Well done. I see some white and flowy. Kate and, I, Kate and I watched two thirds of It last night. I've watched two thirds of a show called The Bling Ring. Let's compare them. It, uh, the 2017 version. I knew nothing about the original It. All I know is Crazy Clown. I'm thinking this will be a little corny. Hey, spoiler alert. You, you see the kid runs up on the clown, and then out of nowhere, It just rips his arm off. Oh, really? Yeah. So I was like, oh, this will get pretty intense. And I had a nightmare last night about It. I watched <laughs> it. We were too tired, so we said we'll finish it later. And You finished hours, it in your dreams. I finished it in I my mean, dreams, and it's scary. Let's like recap this whole, put It aside. Trey loves to start a movie at night and then he'll just kind of be like, I'm done. There's only 20 minutes left, but we can finish this later. What's my time? I need a vote <laughs> on who thinks that's a psychopath. When's the last time we finished a movie? <laughs> I know. It's so weird. I would always. Well, Katie also likes to start the movie and then I say, well, let's, I go, let's get into bed. Let's get ready for bed. Finish the movie in bed. And 
what's missing for this story is it takes Katie 70 minutes to get ready for bed. <laughs> no, I don't know what doesn't. she's doing in there. But and then by the time we're in bed, it's it's 10 p.m. We have an hour left of a movie and like we just need to Anyways, finish this later. Let Trey know it's very bizarre to start a movie every time and not finish it. It was, <laughs> you know, how movies have a clear like act one, two, and three. Usually, yeah, right. Climax is kind of, or you're entering into it. Yeah, two thirds the way through. That's where I pause it and say we'll watch later, and we never watch it later. I think the thing I'm most caught off guard at is you say it's 10 p.m. No, no sense in watching any more movie. That's like the cutoff is 10. Uh, well, context. She is pregnant and very tired. I was up really late because she was out of town with her friends who are my friends' wives. So we all watched football and stayed up till like two in the morning. So I was a very sleepy boy. That's the context. Got it. I have a busy day. We got a podcast. We're flying out here in a bit. So yeah, I'm, I'm responsible boy energy. <laughs> I, I guess so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People always talk about Sunday nights is when they're just so tired. So yeah, yeah I get that. that I think there's <laughs> some out there. Let me know. Anyone else do? I do the weekends like this. Uh, weekend starts at Friday. I just go a thousand miles per hour up late Friday, up late Saturday, Sunday. I'm just, I'm not rejuvenated in any capacity. I'm exhausted. And I wake up Monday. Like now I finally feel better because I went to, I had nine hours of sleep this and is that's true. my uh, cycle. He does this every weekend. So there's no relaxation happening, <laughs> which just, is probably bad. You're just worthless every Sunday. Most of the time. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> Interesting. Well, okay. Well, now Sunday. Now I'll try to get together with some guys and watch football. And is Fantasy. that different than you feeling worthless, or is that you saying that's good? No, that's the opposite of what. That's going and doing something really fun. <laughs> yeah, it's productive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Special. So as you can tell, a lot of like chores and stuff happen at yeah. our house over the weekend. We get a lot of things done. Yeah, yeah it sounds like <laughs> it. Katie and I were in a marital battle where I left Tuesday for a gig and returned home to an empty house because she had left. And I returned to a pretty messy home. So I was giving her a hard time. There was dishes in the sink. Um, she's milking the pregnancy thing big time. Like she's I'm already... Tired. Wait. Yeah, she is. She, why is she milking right now? Um, well, it surprised me as well. You didn't get his joke. <laughs> I didn't? Yeah. Yes, I did. Okay, I was yeah. waiting for the button. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, Katie... <laughs> Katie did not believe in you. She, yeah. she thought it was Sunday. We're in the middle of a bit, and she's like, time out. Hold on. Are you following with what Jake's saying? I don't, I don't <laughs> think you got it. Am I a professional comedian or not? You tell me I am. Is this, what the, this is the new podcast. Jake says a joke, and I start bantering. She's like, did you get it? I want to make sure you're clear on what's Let's being stated. Let's explain it for everyone. Let's walk through yeah, it. Believe it or not, I got it. All right, so you got home. And uh, and that's so that's why we had to we've turned off it because of the milk. <laughs> Katie that was the end of the bit okay, uh, maybe yeah. it wasn't no worth more, finishing no, no more milking and so no. I get home I kind of give her a hard time and then she returns home from the the fun weekend to a fairly messy house I assume so we were in a battle I was like I I'm not going to clean up too much that he gave I mean, <laughs> I mean, since he gave me even. crap I assumed that, that it would be clean when I got home right you know because but there was she had done my laundry and folded it and when she came home she's like I bet that laundry's not put up Oh, I walked it right upstairs, Jake. <laughs> it was. Uh, all right. That was... I feel like we're in like opposite stages right now. Like I, I bought this house for like Rachel and I to like eventually, you know, live in together. And milking. since she was out of town, getting the milking and she was out of town this week. <laughs> One day we'll we'll be married. She'll milk in that house. <laughs> it's going to be beautiful. Right now. Yeah, it's tough knowing what to call it because it's like, I don't really live there. You know, we're going to live there. For, it's just the milk house is what mm, we just okay. kind of call it. Everyone knows it as the milking house. <laughs> Katie, are you following? <laughs> the IRS. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the IRS. All right. Well, there we go. <laughs> You're never going to know the end of that sentence. Anyway, uh, so I went full like, um, oh, what's his name from the notebook? Noah. You know, yes. just Ryan Gosling, just really just getting this house ready for this week. So mm. hung up. You know, artwork, mounted a TV, brought in some of her winter clothes into the closet wow, this yeah. week. I that hid. That sounds amazing. I, I hid things in the house for her to find. Oh, yeah, dude. Bought her an espresso machine. Yeah. Oh, I flew down to Atlanta one time, moved Katie's entire belongings across town, just slaving away. And was now, was now Katie she's moving like, or was she was like, <laughs> I just would kind of spew them around <laughs> yeah, town. Just, yeah. It was a scavenger hunt. Yeah. So it was romantic. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did it all. And now if... She's like, would you put this table together? I'm like, just 
Get on Thumbtack and figure yeah, it out. Yeah, now someone else always <laughs> <No>. does it. <laughs> no, we're still so in love. So in love. We have a big announcement. That's enough marital <laughs> train Katie talk. Big announcement. My Are You For Real special is coming soon. Um, I'm starting to get people asking. Long time coming. We, we had a lot of... Um, yeah, I'm going to tell the whole story. The special uh, is is launching October 18th. So we've announced it. If you follow following me uh, on social media, so don't miss it. You can go to trade slash special, check it out. And this is bit, we've had months long conversations with a mainly one streamer. Netflix basically other. was like, Hey, we'll give you $8 million. Trey said, no, I no. think <laughs> I believe in my fans. Mm-hmm. I bet I can earn more than that. Let's go with that story. <laughs> Selling it to the people. Mm-hmm. That's so what I Trey said, said. Oh yeah, eight million. I don't get a bed for less than ten. <laughs> Watch what my fans can. Also, do. I didn't put this bed together. Some guy on the thumbtack did. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I can't do it. Um, uh, let's go with that story. Or that none of them wanted to pay me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we. That's why we debated what to do, and like there was like maybe a semi offer from one or two. And we said, you know what? Because again, it's a lot of these. We sold so many tickets, went across the country. I feel like a lot of comedians in my shoes might get opportunity, but they're kind of like, hey, you're this internet kid. We don't, we'll, we, we'll keep an eye on you. So we're going to prove to the people that we're going to sell the heck out of it. Derek's over here. He directed the thing. He killed it. Jake opened for the thing and all of the shows, killed it. And so we're very excited to put it out. So trachinocom slash special. We, you know, I self funded. It cost me a lot of money to do it. Derek is not cheap. Uh, no, I'm kidding. He did. He actually did do it cheap, and he crushed it. Uh, but it's still very expensive. It's a lot of equipment and people and Definitely. and time. So uh, Hulu offered twenty five million, <laughs> and he was just like, I mean, Hulu doesn't carry the same weight as like a Netflix right. special. Hulu, uh, Hulu spend. What yeah. comedian has? A I want to be spend. right there next to Dahmer. Yeah. So <laughs> if, if I can't be on there, then we'll give it to the people. It's fifteen bucks. Uh, there's like a two week window where you can watch it. Gather your friends. Gather your family. We'll have a big watching event. So, uh, yeah, all the info. Trey can you slash special. Excited to put it all out. Amazon That's Prime offered a billion dollars. <laughs> <laughs> and equity in Bezos. And Trey said, marriage. no, I believe in the correct opinions listeners. Mm-hmm. I was like, Trey, a billion dollars is actually a ton of money. I don't know if you've really grasped no, that. Jay. Said, no, I have a unique URL. Maybe you didn't hear me. It's Trey can slash special. Mm-hmm. I'm a special kid. And I, I was like, I bet you heard that a lot. you special. <laughs> So so please, 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 yeah, please. Really banking on made a really irresponsible decision. Yeah, please buy it. <laughs> and these other mug, she doesn't have the mug, mug, and like you know, it's not. She doesn't have like matte pink yet. Yeah. So yeah, I need all the Stanley colors. Yeah. So you can, but yeah, you can see the show for one the one low price of like a third of a Stanley mug. Yeah. Cool. Mm-hmm. Or f- a fifth of one. What do these cost? Forty What's bucks. The resale. There's like they're like sneakers of. <laughs> they really are. Balls. I think it, they cost like 40 bucks, but you can resell them for like $100. No way. Yeah. Cool. You know, if, Just a cup. if it's the right timing, if, you know, they ran out, if they're out of stock. Certain colorways. Yeah. Yep. What's the, the most uh, prestigious uh, color, would you say, of a Stanley mug? That's a great question. Prob- Thank my, you. My guess would be white. Hmm. I've Seems heard a of... little privileged. No. <laughs> <laughs> the most expensive? White. White. <laughs> Any other questions? <laughs> White. Yeah, I asked her the mug color. She's like, probably um, blonde, blue eyes. Like, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think you mean white. Yeah. White power. <laughs> off-white power. <laughs> I went for the off-white. That is, oh, this is a cream. Yeah. It's kind of like my skin color. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you? She just came back from Florida. You wouldn't know it. How did Ian treat you? It was sunny every single day. Ian didn't touch us. That's how it is in 30A, huh? Yep. It was how many, how many khakis? A lot of khakis, a lot of polos. And this entire group of men walked by us in the restaurant. All khakis, all striped blue shirts. <laughs> <laughs> and all matching men? men? They were matching. I don't think on purpose. I think it's just what they wear. <laughs> I tell you what, if you think khakis are out, yeah, go spend a weekend in... Seaside. Anywhere yes, in Florida, probably. That is exactly. <laughs> it was. But it was great. My son, my lips got pretty sunburnt, though. So. Yeah. What, what were you going to say about your unborn son? 
Sound like he's my, son. Yeah. my unborn son did, did you get that one did Katie? Fine. <laughs> <laughs> did fine khakis it's like the you know you go to italy you wear the nice linen pants mm-hmm. well i think yeah. greece is where you go i would be decked out in just white like kanye linens that'd right, be fun right yeah and then florida it's like the khakis are the linens of florida yeah cargo shorts you did something a little durable mm-hmm. for when you nearly drowned every hurricane season which uh, i mean respectfully did your family take the uh, the family photos? I, we were all in white polos and uh, like cargo shorts, like khaki shorts back in the day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did, did that whole thing. Ba- yeah. Like a nice baby blue, kind of like that, you know, nice baby blue with, uh, with we the were, khaki. or We were just straight mm-hmm. white, I think. Bare feet? No, or, yes, okay. Yeah, bare mm-hmm. white feet and the white shirt. Mm-hmm. Well, the feet were nice, white. Nice, okay. nice, nice, nice. Yeah, oh, yeah, barefoot. Kind of like, kind of like the little senior pose. Your dad, mm-hmm. your dad was in the back with all the kids in front, maybe. Yeah, probably. I, I would have been fifteen. My sister was twelve. So I'm trying to think of the arrangement. Oh, maybe more on your like laying your head in your mom's lap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. My sister giving me a piggyback ride, mm-hmm. something like that. Something teenagers do. We got really Christmas creative photo? one year for our Christmas photo. There's seven of us total, so we did a pyramid. Whoa. Guess what? You really just need six for a pyramid. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you go three, three two, two, one. So I am just on hands and knees to the side of the pyramid. <laughs> You're the family dog. I'm not yeah. in the pyramid You're at all. The retriever <laughs> off to the side. It is horrible. And then that was the photo picked for our Christmas card. So Why are you still on your hands and knees if you're on the side? Because they were like, well, if it was standing, that would look weird. Everyone's in a pyramid. I'm just standing there. I, mean, I think you could have stood next to him just fine. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That's too bad. It does feel like the family photo trend. Uh, we all grew up to, like these corny, weird men who ran like a small business photo like studio, mm-hmm. you'd show up in front of just a gray sheet yes, and like all pose. That, that's, that's no more, right? People aren't still doing that. No, it's cost way more money now. <laughs> or, or it doesn't. You just, Hey, ask a stranger to click your iPhone. I think that's works. We did one with my whole family, like in my grandparents living room and we're all matched in like burgundies and navy blues or something. It just looks like we're a law firm. It absolutely <laughs> looks like y'all are a law firm. It is. It is so weird. <laughs> There's like books behind them. Yeah. It's very dark. Everything is very dark. Anyway. <laughs> uh, so we just... Uh, oh, let's get to some comments and, and stuff from fans. I... Ooh! I have a note. We, had, we did a couple shows in Kansas City. They were very last minute. We had to reschedule Florida. Sorry, Florida. Ian. Straight white men are at it again. Causing a lot of havoc. Ian, that's a straight white male name. And look what he did to the people of Florida. Yeah, Katie almost didn't get to go on vacation. I almost didn't. It was a <laughs> dicey 48 hours. Uh, we had a great couple shows in Kansas City, and I got a note from a fan. I said, I'm going to save that for the podcast. Yes, she handed it to me. I was okay, kind oh, of... It's downstairs. Oh, stall. Yeah. Or, I, you don't have to stall. You can just keep like podcasting. You got a handwritten note. Yes, a handwritten note. Yeah, I believe so. I didn't look at it. So a woman after the show came up to me and she just told me, she's like, I love you guys. Um, my son reminds me a lot of Trey and vice versa. He wasn't able to come, but I wrote Trey a note and I want you to give it to him. I was like, cool, fun. And uh, so I walked back into the green room and I gave it to Trey and he said, I'm not going to look at it. I'm going to save it for the podcast. So I don't know what's in here. Trey doesn't know what's in here, but it's just a little note from right, it's a-, a big fan. From a little boy? Uh, is that where a normal I boy? honestly don't know if it's from the perspective of the boy. Also, the boy is 24, she told me. Oh, okay. Well, um, yeah, yeah that was 24 my 24-year-old question. son. Well, you, but you don't know his, his stature exactly. No, I don't know how tall he is. Okay. Uh, I put it in my wallet, right? I right. don't don't know. Can you special. imagine? All right. Oh, it's ti- that's yeah, a it's a tiny. Yeah, it's a tiny note. There's going to be less than 10 words. Here we go. This uh, this is from her son, you said? No, I, I don't know. Oh, okay, I haven't sorry, looked at sorry. it. Sorry. Dear Trey, I was the Grammy in the audience. I talked with a woman, found out she's Grammy. Oh, so she wrote this like after the performance then. Cool. Our son is so much like you. I get this a lot from motherly figures. Like you're just like our son. Adorable and funny. Um, and then she gave, then she put Maverick, I won't say his full name and put 
that he's on Instagram and put his Instagram. And I should connect with her son because we're just alike. Oh. <laughs> That's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> All these women, there's so many ladies listening right now. They're like, he's just like my son or my brother. What am I really? Am I that? You're just that. I told you that. I told you that story one time of a a 70 year old woman in a meet and greet on tour. She's like, you are just like my son, except you are so hot. (laughs) (laughs) 70 years old. I just go, okay. All right. It's hard. Oh, and the cell phone number here at the end. Should we call him? No. You think that's his? <laughs> yeah, I don't. You think that's his or know. her number? Yeah, maybe it's like a. Yo, is this Maverick? She's like, it's my son loves Grammy. you. He needs, yeah. He needs a daddy. Yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> okay. It is well, that was funny. So you get that a lot that you remind people of their son? I get a lot of the, uh, the f- yeah, 50, 60 plus female fans go, it's just you remind me of my son. Which is interesting because just objectively, you were. They just have a very unique, unique job. Like they just got done watching you at a stand up comedy show. Right. I mean, just is there a classic? I don't know what they are. Every, He's every funny mother thinks their son dinner. is funny. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Does your mom think your, her sons are funny? I think so. I mean, I am the funniest one out of the family, but which one of her kids well, is on a podcast right now? Yeah. yeah. I mean, which one's a famous podcast comedian? Pretty obvious. Basically. <laughs> Isn't that what it means? Did you, do your parents think you're funny, Jake? Yeah. That's good. Thanks. I just heard, just no, they don't. Yeah, no. That's what don't. that's what's pushed you to try to do it professionally. Um, no, their support uh, has helped. But there was a guy in college. I can't remember if I told this story in the podcast before. And he was the dean of students, and he called me in his office because I was getting in trouble for doing something that I don't know. I was probably like <laughs> made a video and put it on social media. And he's like, I don't know if Christian should be using Facebook. You know, one of those <laughs> like meetings. And I was like, I think it's fine. And he's like, I don't know. Uh, and he's like, but while I have you, um, you need to stop trying to be funny. You're just, you're just not funny. Wow. Listen, I'm like 21 years old. The dean of students just called you me. You think his God's up there me. just laughing? No, <laughs> he's not. He's like that. That is what propelled you for it. It, I don't know if it was like a big motivator, but I haven't forgotten it, and I kind of want to tag him and stuff every now and then. Oh yeah, but Let's I tag him in this. I, <laughs> clip it. <laughs> I haven't ever sent is anything his the, way. Is he still the dean? Um, he moved colleges. He's like somewhere else now, and so I've just kind of kept a mental note. Like I don't know when the a certain milestone, but whenever I hit it, I'm gonna deliver him something. You know, like a like a dead horse's head. It's pretty unrelated to the comedy, actually. You know, just something intimidating. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just like a death threat or yeah. something. Yeah. Just a death just threat. Something like that. This we'll is just, Jake you know. <laughs> just like call him and like know the names of his kids' elementary school. Yeah. Just like to get even. Just real quick. <laughs> right. Just freak him out a little bit. Like, this is the guy who told me to stop being funny? Well, guess what? I got pretty I serious. <laughs> I got pretty serious at Elmwood Drive last night. It's like, that's where, that's where I live. Like, uh-huh. yeah, you dad gum right. Oh, trust me. We know how to connect with people's children. You heard of Maverick? <laughs> yeah, we he, can call him right now, dude. He's Grammy's son. He's 24, but <laughs> it's... <laughs> Last I heard, he was 24. Uh, we got a lot of fun DMs to the Instagram. Follow the Correct Opinions Instagram account. Hit us up there with video, some mesh, video questions, whatever you want to say to us. Uh, I want to shout out Melissa Ryan. Um, she It's her birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday. She wrote in... And I guess want us us to wish her happy birthday. Some people are too into their birthdays. Melissa, I hope you have a great birthday. And, you know, no one tells me happy birthday. It's because I don't plead for people to tell me happy birthday. You don't DM podcast about it? Mm-mm, I haven't yet. But it's coming up. Yeah. I could get you the DM Everyone students should birthday. DM Trey. Yes. <laughs> His birthday is November 17th. No! <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> it's his 30th. That's a big one. <laughs> uh, but Melissa, happy birthday. She says, I, li- I love your show. I listen while walking in the mornings. I'm sure my neighbors have wondered why I'm cra- cracking up so hard by myself. Um, she goes, oh, that wonder why I'm cra- cracking up so hard. That's what she said. Okay, did Melissa you get that one? said that? Yeah. She huh, lives in that's Florida. What <laughs> Melissa said. <laughs> anyway, she says she lives in Florida. She's Can we gonna not come do the pronouns the sh- thing? You know, the he said, she said, just you know, just keep reading. Um, 
she's, uh, you know, the hurricane came. She's going to come to the show. She's going to be at the next one. So she's disappointed. That was how she's going to celebrate her birthday. So uh, we'll say happy birthday here, Melissa. That would have been fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ian ruined a lot of things. And your birdie putt. And my birdie putt. Wasn't that Ian? Oh, yes. <laughs> Ian on the Mood Swings Golf Channel. He gave me a terrible putt read. Oh, Ian. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that was funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Poor guy. Uh, I got a comment from last week's episode. Um, this is mainly a comment to Derek. Elizabeth uh, Virgil, shout out. Just have to say I'm appreciating how much lighting the new studio has. Watching all my TV, it looks great. Um, so good job, Derek. Also, I was not raised with cable, so loved that whole bit. We were so sheltered, the only TV allowed was football. But VeggieTales or Disney movies. Have all those memorized. Also loved Katie's Barbie comments. Yo, Barbie. We got a real-life Barbie out here in the world. In the pod, whatever. In Adam DM'd me. Adam, he, uh, if you guys recall, I was struggling with House of the Dragon, mainly because I partly am on my phone when it's on. Yes. But mm -hmm. this is very helpful. If you're watching House of the Dragon, which probably a lot of you are, I don't know. He said uh, the show was 172 years before Game of Thrones. The first jump was two years. Then the huge time jump, the last episode was 10 years. Just wanted to provide the timelines, your loyal supporter and protector of the fact checks of God. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Okay, next, um, DM Adam, can you just like explain the last episode? That would be very helpful. Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> you could uh, get on a call with Katie and kind of walk her through it. Um, yeah, and if any time Jake makes a joke, could you just walk me through those? Explain it. Yeah. That'd be all, great. I'm all over it. No worries. Um, so thank y'all. Go subscribe to the YouTube. We love interacting with y'all. Uh, what I've been sent a bazillion times. I'm just going to jump to this now. Um, I, I, have y'all seen this? The gender reveal in Brazil that they're under an investigation because they may have contaminated like a massive uh, water the source. Waterfall. Yeah. I did not see this. So... Um, this was in Mato, Mato Grosso. I don't know how to say Brazilian cities, but like other party, like any other party, the outdoor event on Sunday featured pink and blue balloons, a giant stork, and trendy powder cannons. Da da da. Um, the party dyed the entire waterfall the color of the gender. It was a violation of Brazil's federal environmental law. Uh, an investigation will determine which penalties and fees apply. Uh, it's a whole ordeal. The 59-foot waterfall is located in an area with ecotourism sites and more, and, you know, more waterfalls. The city has been struggling with a drought, and it turned a bright shade of blue. Cool. A boy. And they've contaminate, contaminated a water source and polluted it. So. Do we want to watch it? Yeah. Oh, there's a whole video. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, that's oh, bright blue. Wow. I mean. Whoa. Did they just waltz up to a waterfall and think this is fine? I mean, Brazil, it's huge. Anything True. goes. Wow. There's Brazil uh, has the most like uncontacted people groups. I think Do pretty they much really? all of them are still, if there's any left, most of them are in there. Can you imagine? Like, it's one thing to come across these men who are like, they can, they talk on crazy rock. Rock. Yeah. <laughs> they talk to other human on rock, and now water's turning fluorescent blue. I mean, they, yeah, you they know, don't know what's going on. There's a guy in every tribe who's like pretty spiritual. He's, you know, trying to explain, you know, God made all this. And then when the, the water turns bright blue, he's like, this is going to make my job a little more difficult. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tough time explaining this one. This is a new one. <laughs> this is new. This one was not in the either of the testaments. Mm -hmm. So better blue than pink. I mean, that would be way tougher to explain. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's not natural yeah <laughs> oh man so the gender reveals they just keep coming they're great man i love i can't believe how many um laws have been broken doing gender reveal i can't believe that the trend hasn't died down yet it might be here to stay unfortunately <clears throat> until millennials stop having kids i'll tell you the ones i'm a sucker for because once again i keep getting tagged in them and you don't need to tag me i've never made gender reveal content all right cool it but I do sometimes still yeah, watch. That's I can't. I feel like I haven't talked about it in a while, and I, it's all. I get a DM'd every thirty minutes. <laughs> oh. <gender> <laughs> yeah. 
The ones I, I am a sucker for, though, is like when it's kind of like a big like tube explosion and just goes right in like a little kid's face. Yeah. Man, that's good. <laughs> that gets me every yeah, time. Just powder right to a They just have it the face. wrong direction and a little kid is just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Oh, and just, you know, pink face. Poof. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah. So those are cool. Cool. Well, from black face to pink face. You can send me those. Better. Yeah. The rapper Blueface, that's how he got his name. Oh, gender really? Reveal. Yep, yep. Brazilian gender reveal. <laughs> okay. Uh, so keep sending us gender reveals, I guess, since you're not going to stop. <laughs> and don't bro- don't break any laws. We did a... Did we ever tell people we did a little gender reveal? I think you Katie maybe mentioned me. it last week. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The cake. Yeah. I'm still scarred by it. The knife scarred you? Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what he means. Poor cut? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Bummer. Yep. Whoa, what was that? <laughs> you making pizza rolls? I honestly, I wish. Okay. Uh, well, at the spot, please but that's don't. not what that is. That is the new sound of Shopify. That's oh, right, folks. Even better than pizza rolls. Mm-hmm. Shopify, that's another sale made on Shopify. The all-in-one commerce. Uh, commerce platform to start, run, and grow your business. Struggling to talk today. All good? Shopify makes it simple to sell to anyone from anywhere. Anywhere. (laughs) Struggling to talk? You'll get better. Struggling to sell goods online? Use Shopify. Absolutely. With (laughs) Shopify, you'll create an online store in your vibe, discover new customers, grow the following that keeps them coming back. And thanks to 24-7 support Hmm. and free libraries full of educational content, Shopify's got you every step of the way. Um, we're launching some Correct Opinions merch soon. Again, yes, yes, yes. it's coming every week. It's sooner. <laughs> and we're using Shopify to power that. We're very excited. Uh, so sign up for a free trial at shopify.com slash correct opinions, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash correct opinions to start selling online today. Shopify.com slash correct opinions. Jake, when you encounter a problem, what do you do? Oh, I usually just, uh, well, I get so anxious about it. I don't even, don't even have time to tackle the problem. Same. But you know what? A therapist can help you become a better problem solver. Don't mind if I do. Making it easier to accomplish your goals, no matter how <coughs> big or small. Now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. Hey-o. Oh, uh, I've done therapy, and BetterHelp is a great, great way to do it. Um, if you're ever thinking of giving therapy a try, BetterHelp's a great option. It's convenient, accessible, affordable, and entirely online. That's nice. That's nice. Sometimes it can be tough. Uh, to find a therapist you like, but BetterHelp makes it easy to get matched with one after filling out a brief survey, and you can also just switch therapists at any time. Yep. Um, you know, therapy helped me better understand some of the stuff I was going through, especially problem solving. So when you want to be a better problem solver, therapy can get you there. Visit betterhelp.com slash correct today, and you can get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash correct. Mom talk update. Ooh. Ooh, it's been a couple weeks. Yeah. Oh, man. If y'all, you know, if you don't know, you should know. Just the Mormon moms on TikTok. They're a big group. They, she, she, there's some affair. They're apart. Now videos have been popping up on TikTok. It appears that this gal, what's her name? Taylor. She had like, it was like Taylor, Taylor Logan, Frankie, Paul, Paul, Logan. Jake. Yeah, that was her name. <laughs> she has been seen out and about with a whole camera crew. Yeah, look at this. It's like a Starbucks. <laughs> She's got the ripped jeans, millennial. Wait, wait for it. Oh. The whole camera crew follows in. And there's one more here. So, I I mean, if if a Netflix show pops up of Mom Talk, my gosh, that might, bo- might be one of the most successful shows in Netflix history. I think if she's smart, she'll turn it down and she'll try to sell it on TreyKennedy.com slash special. Because that's where you can make the most money. Yep. That's the most successful people. That's how they sell films. I didn't want to out Derek, but he's is the one filming. <laughs> <laughs> and here she is uh, sitting at a restaurant. And you just see the film crew. Wow. So. I've had to film some things that I wasn't the most proud of. That would be oh. tough. That would, <laughs> if you had to? I would not want to do that. Oh, that okay. would be rough. I thought you were admitting I filmed some things I'm not proud of. <laughs> Most of them have been in the last year and a half or so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I just want to get ahead of this trade.com slash special. Thing. <laughs> uh, the cinematography is good. The content, however. <laughs> uh, I, I know. I've always... I mean, we've all been in that position. There's been... 
early in the days, early, early in the days, you had to do some, what's like the crappiest gig you've ever done? All of us, I want to hear. Just like in Jake. general? I mean, yeah. I've done so many. Get, just, when it comes to like something in the stratosphere of like, maybe you like worked with some weird brand or got, uh, did some weird like, like you know hosting what? thing. Let's just or, do a draft. Yeah. Everyone gets like a few picks in the draft. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, I'll start. Uh, DJing a father-daughter dance. Just that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, you walk me through that? It was just a, a really strange thing to get asked to do. And it was so wholesome, I feel like I couldn't say no. They paid me like $25, I think, you know, to just like DJ, just like gentlemen dancing with their daughters. And I had no affiliation to any of these people. I was just kind of watching them just dance with their kids for like an hour and a half. That was one of the weirder gigs I've ever done. Okay. It's the first thing that came to mind. Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, man, I, I know there's quite a few. I did, uh, I sang at a kind of a semi fan's wedding. Okay. In like college. It was early. It was Vine days. And it was like, we had like mutual connections, but they're like, the groom loves your voice. Would you sing? But we want you to do a duet with this girl that the bride's good friends with. And so I would like, me and this gal sang like a John Legend. What song was that? John Legend and Kelly Clarkson or something like that. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, I just kind of showed up and sang and left. This is just an interesting situation. No, that's good. You guys got gigs too? You want to be in the draft? Oh, Katie's done probably some weird stuff. Yeah. Oh. Oh, wh what, yeah. what do you, you have in mind? Do. What do you have in mind? A few. Well, your masseuse gig. Oh, that was, yeah, that was pretty weird. Um, it was right when I started getting into modeling. I was like 20, I was probably 20. I was young in college. And this um, spa, it was a spa, asked uh, if I could, uh, it was a spa, it was a spa. Asked if I could come. They were open 24-7. No, they weren't. Asked if I could come um, be part of their photo shoot and be like the, you know, like the masseuse. I, I don't even think they fully told me that I was going to be the masseuse. So I show up and I am the masseuse. Hey Keep in mind, I'm 20. <clears throat> I look really young. I also had my wisdom teeth out three days prior. So a little rounder face. <laughs> but um, <laughs> we, I had to fake massage a man uh, for this photo shoot. <laughs> Do you have the photo? I don't I don't know. I've seen the photo, dude. She looks like oh I mean she looks like, you know, I look like a child. Or tiny. <laughs> and there's just like a, a man, you know, face down, shirtless, and she's just like lightly touching his back, smiling. I was like trying like not to touch it fully and <laughs> and then the even worse, better, I don't know. Um, they also did like men's haircut and like shaving. So the other photo is me with a straight razor and he has shaving cream and I just have it barely touching his face. <laughs> what was this promoting? Just their services? The spa, yeah. Why did you, how did you even get a modeling gig three days after wisdom tooth surgery? Didn't they know you wouldn't look how you normally look? I didn't tell them. Oh. <laughs> Face that money. Nice. Yeah. For all they know, for all they know I just got a little filler. Derek, what's the weirdest thing you filmed? Wedding video in college, this bride came in on a horse-drawn carriage way over the top, you know. Then <laughs> Love it. They had Native Americans singing on Ooh. the way down. I mean, she's as white as can be. Like, <laughs> oh, really? Don't know where the Native American Indian connection <laughs> was, but. Could you, was yeah. the husband? No, no, no. no. Like, <laughs> just not a, you're just looking everywhere. Yeah, for like, a, like there's got to be one somewhere. For a Cherokee Indian or something. <laughs> like, why, why are we doing this? Yeah, she made some of her bridesmaids cry. In Ooh, just like Bridezilla, like yeah, Bridezilla, Native American like, cry, <laughs> yeah. cry out to the moon yeah. in so the skies, Bane at the moon. <laughs> yeah, struggling. tons of wedding videos in college. That's how I kind of got started. So yeah, that's great. Sure I, I love that idea. You just go to a wedding. They just, someone just stomps on a glass. Just yell. You're like, is, is anyone Jewish here at all? <laughs> you just, just throw in, in some other. Yeah. One time I got asked to go to drive to Manhattan, Kansas, um, to be an elf at a sorority Christmas party. Okay. Did, and did I they figured, provide a costume? Uh, nope, I already had the costume. <laughs> I think that's why well, I got asked. That might an elf explain costume. a lot. <laughs> like, you look like a goblin. Could you, just, <laughs> yeah. could you just get a little more elfy to your creature status? And, and you're like, yeah, I could. 
I could go get like a whole outfit, pointy ears. I could get maybe like, I think literally just the ears and it'll be Maybe just wear a green t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> I think that'll be enough. I think right you'll, you. I think people will get it. Yeah. yeah. And I was just like, you're probably thinking, oh, it's okay that Jake didn't get paid because he got to hang out with sorority girls all night. I was dressed as an elf, so I wasn't uh, pulling any numbers in the elf <laughs> costume. Hey, um, <laughs> so what what's your you name? Do? What's your major? Uh, what did you do as the elf? Well, um, I'll tell you one thing they didn't like is when I asked them to go to Santa's little twerk shop. Um, they didn't think that was very funny. So I was asked to leave. Uh-huh. No, uh, that was a joke. <laughs> but uh, I, I, mean, I did a lot of things that I was just like, I mean, every 20 minutes, I was like, what am I doing? I, what am I doing? I'm not even getting paid to be here. What am I doing? I like <laughs> they had a costume contest. And so I like judged that. Okay. Um, which I didn't love judging women, I, you know, and then I had to judge a gingerbread. <laughs> uh, they're like, house. would you just, just judge it, keep it fun? And you're just like, four. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Didn't love that having to rate yeah. a lot of them low. But. Well, even just like judging anything. I didn't like being like, all right, you won and no one else did. And then they're all like looking at me, you know, <clears throat> they just know I didn't choose them. I didn't like the feeling. I had to judge a gingerbread house making thing. I remember... So like the house mom wrote like a some sort of like Christmas story or nursery rhyme and then all the no all the girls sat around you <laughs> sat around and I read them like the story no, no. Uh, yeah I can't believe you didn't these get, are twenty one year old women <laughs> I mean I was like twenty two probably but uh, this is why he was gone three weeks ago <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah so that one okay. comes to mind that's a good one yeah. Hmm. What about you guys? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I don't know. I've, I, I think I've told a couple on the pod, you know, an all time one is doing a comedic bit at an NBA game three hours after Kobe died in a helicopter. That one is. That one was tough. I don't know if I've heard that story. Too bad. Do. Really? It was just all, it was just the worst timing ever. I was doing. just the one t- I was hired by the Grizzlies to do some like post game kind of speak comedy thing. And, uh, you know. That was it was the day Kobe Bryant died. And they were like, We're gonna we might not even play the game. We might do this. And they kind of like, Oh, we're gonna do it all. <laughs> so like stick, you know, it was like huge memorial at the start of the game and moment of silence and like each player like let the shot clock go up. And then like ten minutes later, like stick around for <laughs> motivational speaker. That's what they called me. Motivational speaker, Trey Kennedy. Uh yeah. Did Did you was, motivate people? Uh no. Hmm. I didn't do much of Tough vibes all around. Yeah. I opened and joked about it, hoping. Yeah. I didn't do that. Oh, I was like, you did? I hope you guys are driving home. Yeah. I feel like I had to take a helicopter. I feel like I had to address it. So I yeah. kind of started my like performance with just like a solemn, like, this is really devastating. Wow. So, it's pretty somber. To so I, uh, graduating from high school and like a couple years into college, uh, got into like being an extra, you know, out of high school is the summer before college, <laughs> me and a few friends, my brother, we were like, oh, that's a fun way to pass time. We have nothing else to do. You go sit on set for 12 hours and get paid. So there were a few weird jobs in there. <laughs> um, <laughs> I stood behind uh, American Reunion, the newest American Pie, not super wholesome, American uh, pop. <laughs> not oh. super wholesome. I was like, oh, American Reunion. Cool. Is that yes, like uh, it's the <laughs> soldiers coming home or something? American Pie. <clears throat> um, yeah, <laughs> I was <laughs> the party scene, just wow. standing behind, you know, Stifler and those guys while they were fake smoking weed. And, just, and you're just like, I'm with just like, like a cup or something? With an empty solo <clears throat> cup, whatever. Uh, yeah. I was. Steve Martin's quote unquote daughter one time being an extra. Cool. Um, I had no lines. My husband, quote unquote <coughs> husband on the um, movie was on acid. Oh. So we got kicked out of the <laughs> scenes. Oh gosh. Because he was just ruining it for <laughs> because everyone. Because he was ruining it for everyone. And so he got fired and they had to hire a new one. And then I was in nothing because my husband was on acid. I was a nothing. No I used to be something. I used to be an extra. I used and now to I'm nothing. Be the Steve Martin's daughter with no lines. And then I got <laughs> downgraded. 
Dang, wow. that's cool. You've been an extra though. That's fun. That's cool. It's pretty fun to do when you're like 18 and 19 year olds. Yeah, like, yeah. What else are you doing? That was the same stage. Uh, I was donating plasma, and it's like, oh, you wow. know, that was a fun stage for me to be in. But it's way didn't need to rely on it. Way better than what I was doing. <laughs> Probably getting paid the same. Yeah. Derek, who's your final pick? Your gig pick? Mm. Oh, I did photos for a few weeks for dance, and it's like. I don't know if I should say this. It was weird. <laughs> it was really oh, weird. For like, oh, for like no. young girls. Yeah. Dance, like and you're like toddlers and terrorists type yeah, thing. Like, uh, I, don't, no, I, didn't. I didn't think this through when you hired me. I've got to take photos yeah. of children <laughs> and they're in yeah. little tutus. Yeah. They're, or are they in like bikinis? It, yeah. It was weird. Oh, that's it was weird. weird. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> it was during like, it was during uh, like performances and there was an yeah, audience. It wasn't, yeah. but it was still. It wasn't just you. You're like, there were people around. Yeah. <laughs> they approved of it at the yeah. moment. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> they all signed their consent forms. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, that is weird. That's yeah, weird. that's a good If anything, one. I was a hero because because I was there, no one else was allowed to take pictures. So I was stopping <laughs> I the was creeps. A hero. So right. Yeah, that's true. I'm, I see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Derek Chapman, <laughs> pedophile blocker. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think a pedophile is in your in area? No. Send in Derek. He'll take photos of your yeah. kids so a pedophile doesn't. <laughs> He'll make sure no elf wanders on the scene. <laughs> acting funny <laughs> that's great uh cool that was, that was fun story time i saw i want to review this mom energy this is my video of the week i don't know if that's a segment um this they announce a pregnancy to their mother and i'm just proud of this mom's response look at this already what? mom i mean yeah oh my God. i don't even think you guys are you can't handle the two you have Really? Another thing? Oh. That's really messed up. Oh, okay. All right. Whatever. Wow, that didn't go as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. I mean, there's no way that was acted out. That looked so That's sincere. That's too real. At the beginning, I thought it was fake, and then I was like, okay, I think this is the real deal. The girl's face is just like... The girl's like pretty mortified. You could tell... It's the that's so funny. You know, we're having a they show the sonogram. She's like, really, another one? So it's definitely her mom, and he's like in law, and he just walks off and goes, that didn't really go. Can we maybe watch that again? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, that, was, yeah. that was pretty good. I mean, the end just makes it. <laughs> that is terrific. Already, what? mom. I mean, yeah, another one. Already, what? mom. I mean, yeah. Oh my God. I don't even think you guys are. You can't handle the two you have. Really? Another baby? That's really messed up. Oh, okay. All right. Whatever. Wow, that didn't go as well. <laughs> That's so funny. The cutoff. Whatever. I mean, uh, it was like, it was they're all edited to be fault. funny, Yeah. I think. so. She said, quote unquote, That's really messed up. It's really messed up, Mom. <laughs> Oh, that was terrific. I think that's why it's real is because she said it, that's really messed up. Like, that's a line you can't write. I feel yeah, like. yeah. yeah. That's not something you would write. That's, that's, just, that's just off the cuff. <laughs> it's genuinely messed up, Mom. Terrific. Dang. Well. It's, it's kind of how our parents reacted, so. <laughs> I'm sure. I feel like. Uh, <laughs> we're afraid of this. I'm sure Karen Kennedy played it pretty cool when you guys told her. My mom was somehow clueless. She was. Like an hour before, she was offering us both like a glass of wine. Yeah, and we were just being like, "Oh, does she? Is this like?" You didn't know she we, we knows, drove she specifically still... to your house on a random Sunday night for. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna make sure we see both parents in twenty four hours, just for fun. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty obvious. Your parents were obvious. I think they still kind of knew, but we faked them out with the old. Uh, Pour water in the high noon can. Sure did. Wow. Sure did. Faked them out. It's amazing how little <clears throat> I know about... It, it, they don't teach us guys any of this. I don't know how any of this worked. There's trimesters. That's three things in one. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> Learned that. And you're not supposed to tell people for a while. Mm -hmm. Just learning as you It's get been back. hard for me. Yeah. It's been a lot for me. It's been a lot for you. Tiring. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Have you read any of those books that you know people have given you and stuff? Like what? You know, like the Bible. 
<laughs> that is better than all of them, but the, you know, that shows the stages of the baby, explains to you what's happening to me, you know, things like that. Have you read those? Um, I'm more concerned about once, once it's out. Oh, so you're reading a lot of parenting books for us? <laughs> is that what you're doing? Uh huh. Oh, that's so, that's so sweet. Yeah. Let, what parenting advice have you learned? Well, it's more of a father thing. So you wouldn't get it. <laughs> I don't know if I need to spell it out. Oh, I won't be part of it. Katie, what uh, what like fruit or vegetable is uh, your baby? Oh right yeah, now? look at the app. Oh, let's see. Nineteen weeks. You know what? I'm gonna guess first. Okay. Yeah. Everyone guess. 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 Everyone guess. guess. Nineteen weeks, huh? Nineteen yep. weeks. I'm trying to think of all the other fetuses I've tried to guess before. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I I honestly don't have a single parameter. I, I don't even. Okay. I'm gonna say. Oh man! Is I, it more like avocado, or is it more like volleyball? I'm gonna go. Uh, you can see me, right? I'm gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> Katie's like, it doesn't look like a volleyball, yeah. though, right? Yeah, we just all guess. Um, I can't think of a fruit big enough. <laughs> <laughs> Two watermelons. I'm just gonna say fully grown, just like a fully grown you baby. Ever, you ever seen those Guinness World Record pumpkins? <laughs> One of those. <laughs> Something that can't really fit in a wheelbarrow. Something like that. Yeah. That's my guess. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna go. <laughs> you can see me. I'm gonna go. <laughs> rus- I'm gonna go russet potato. Oh, that's okay. Uh, that isn't what they picked, but they. Well, picked- they're, they're all guessing. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. oh did you? I, Derek has the most experience. He knows. I forgot to get. He guess. knows. Oh. I'll start to explain it, Katie. I'm Do terrible you at what's this. Happening? <laughs> As a father, I've I've read in books that I'm supposed to spell it out for you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep trying that. I've heard that one would like that. <laughs> I'm going to go 12 ounce soda can. Ooh. Mm. Oh, okay. Little More of a can. cylinder. A little beer can chicken up there. Okay. 12 ounce <laughs> soda can. I'm going to go with um, jumbo avocado. Okay. One of the Mexican ones. <laughs> you were all familiar with that. Very I think. familiar. Very familiar. <laughs> all right. Well, it is a mango. Oh, okay. I mean, I mean, I think uh, that's three, three for three. What? <laughs> we nailed it. We crushed it. We nailed it. About six inches, eight and a half ounces. Not 12. Oh. Not 12. You're uh, a little. Eight and a half ounces. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's like a cell phone, right? IPhone. But, you know, <laughs> bigger this way. iPhone. Yeah. yeah. They're yeah. that skinny. He, like, he's actually that skinny. I'm making <laughs> sure he's <laughs> staying skinny in there. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. Little mango, huh? A little okay. mango. Who doesn't like mango? Thomas what you, didn't Mango. You show, we joked about it. We've joked about this before. It was like, it said cucumber last week. Last week, it said cucumber. So they grow like that. And then, so this week, he's widening out a little? <laughs> yeah. Last week, it was weird. He just kind of looked like this, like this part of my arm. And now, he's a big, you know. Yeah. Wow. I think we can all envision a mango. You mean this didn't that help? Was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, speaking of food, 19 weeks. Uh, this ruined my week. I'm going to ruin all y'all's weeks, Recties. I'm sorry. Um, this has been taking the internet by storm. A viral video of a guy explaining how uh, tortilla chips, think of what they are. They are deep fried tortillas, right? We forget this. Mm-hmm. Four chips equal a tortilla. Do we trust this guy? It depends on the chip. Okay. By and large. That's it. And think about think about how many chips you don't mind eating. I mean, there's no question I've sat down and had 20 tortillas in a sitting. Doesn't <laughs> yeah. that ruin the tortilla chip? Think about it. I'm, I'm thinking about an average like chips and queso session for me. That's probably 36 chips. Yeah. Let's make it a nice divisible by four number. You know, <clears throat> that's a lot. That's like it. Yeah. Can you imagine if I just slapped nine tortillas in front of you? Like, <laughs> eat up. You're like, my gosh, why would I eat all these? I'm just, yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Really changes things. Quite the conversion Sorry, chart. And who, how do you know this? Who, where did this come from? Do you not believe that tortilla chips are t- tortillas? I'm just, I just, you know, I like to get a second opinion with this kind of stuff. This got me more down than the Kobe Bryant stuff. This, <laughs> yeah. is, this is rough. This is very depressing. Uh, it was like a massively viral single TikTok. But uh, yeah, I think... Please find second opinion. Unless I, I, Dr. Oz says so, I don't believe it. <laughs> That's a guy I trust. You just get a tortilla, they just cut it. Because think of a circle and think of the chip you're eating. 
It looks like a fourth of a tor- show of a me, circle. Show me compared to a mango. So yeah, <laughs> cucumber. Yeah, yeah. Mango. Yeah, yeah. I do a Latia. really good hand demonstration. <laughs> Traded one even yeah. better. Well, I yeah. didn't warm up by being a masseuse model <laughs> for years. That's true. I've been a hand model many times. Lots of practice. It's, it's the, a tortilla, but also deep fried. I don't. I think it. I think I learned that tortilla chips are tortillas deep fried like six months ago. I don't know what I thought they were my whole life. I don't know what I I think about that about a lot of things. Like until I started dating a girl from Iowa, I was pretty clueless where beans came from. Oh my! You know, are beans, they, are it's they like, in America? They are in the Americas. American, yes, yeah, soybeans are soybeans. Yep. Holy cow! There's a lot in Iowa. <sighs> yeah. They grow a lot of stuff there. They sure do, Trey. Okay, but sure do. I mean <laughs> corn. Corn and soybean mainly. I'm trying to get the, <laughs> the nutrition facts of a chip. I mean, one cup is 293 calories. This is a very... A cup of chip is hard to imagine. Yeah, it though. is. A I need of, like a number here. A cup. <laughs> imagine a gallon of tortilla chips. <laughs> a two okay. liter. <laughs> okay, so mission... Like a, oh, these are strips. That's... Yeah, it's I not think what we want. <laughs> they just chalk that one up as a fail. <laughs> working here, still working. Yellow tortilla chips. Did you press the that's enough button? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so enough. One can... ounce. I don't know what an ounce is in the chip. <laughs> <laughs> that does get confusing. How many how many measurements do we have in this country? Out, I still get just so lost when it's like uh, we were just cook a little soup last night. It's like we need uh, four cups. I'm like ounces in a cup. There's six. Eight ounces in a cup? Like 16 ounces. Fluid ounces, ounces is different than like. Fluid ounces. Different, yeah. And it's like one, like, I guess a half liter is seven, 16.9. I, I mean, there's a, it's impossible. It's the most American thing about us, I think, yes. that we just don't do the metric system. And a mile is this random number. We work in yards for some reason. I mean, just none Horrible. of it makes sense. The metric system is awesome. I would gladly move to it. Mm-hmm. So you heard it here first. Metric positive podcast i'm very metric positive uh-huh. yeah yep katie how big's the baby in uh, the metric system Ooh, yeah metric mango this big with my hands let me show you that's how the, well that, <laughs> i think it's just mango with an accent it, mango oh okay. okay okay yeah yeah um uh our florida fans we're sorry yeah we couldn't get down there and hope everyone's okay uh J- jake what's the hurricane plan <clears throat> So, yeah, this is big news. I know there's a lot of people out there who are like, what do we do? Let's look to our president, see what he says to do. Um, he released something. Now, obviously, this is this news has passed. The hurricane already came and went. But I hope you did what Joe Biden said to do for Hurricane Ian. Let me be clear. If you're in a state where hurricanes often strike, like Florida or the Gulf Coast or into Texas, a vital part of preparing for hurricane season is to get vaccinated now. Right. Everything is more complicated if you're not vaccinated in a hurricane or a natural disaster hits. Let me be clear. If you're in a state. That's how we beat this. Oh, that. OK. Actually, isn't there a button here that says something kind of similar? To what? <laughs> yeah. What does this button say? It is over. <laughs> it is over. Is the pandemic over? The pandemic in, it is over. We- but see, he said that before the hurricane. He didn't know we we're going to have to fight off a hurricane. Uh, yeah. The immune system is pandemic, only so strong. Oh, no, is the pandemic back? Ian brought it back. <laughs> Ian. Ian. The eye of the storm has like a little bit of COVID in it. And yeah. it, just, it brings it right. through Fort Myers. I mean, that is terrifying. I mean, because yeah. you, you know all those sad stories of like people on their death, unvaccinated people on their deathbed, like give me the vaccine. And they're like, well, it's too late. And yeah. It's very sad. I, I mean, the amount of clips I saw of people floating in a floaty in their living room. <laughs> Being like, ah, out of space. No, I, I wish I would have been vaccinated. I should have had the booster. <laughs> and I would be free and easy right now. <laughs> what 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 was actually the thought process with that statement, though? Uh, so that I'm was actually, actually trying to because obviously the whole like Elton John mess up was like it made it he made it sound like this guy's the reason we got AIDS everywhere. But really, he was trying to say, thank you for raising money for AIDS. This one I'm struggling to like. I uh, think I think. <laughs> This is like bad timing, but I think that it's just saying like, you know, 
if this were to have happened back in 2020 and everyone needed to go to like a shelter in place and there's hundreds of people in the same place all together because they're avoiding a you know a natural disaster being vaccinated could have been helpful there so that everyone in that room doesn't get covid you know it's I a think little different doesn't now die of COVID. <laughs> doesn't, <literally. laughs> the sign yeah. of a good yeah. president i think is when you speak in hypotheticals from two years previous yeah i think that's the best way to kind of give direction and create a plan it's like, had this been a different time period, let's treat it this way. He's like, yeah, the most dangerous part of January 6th is that all those big group of people were unvaccinated. They that's a, why we didn't like it. It was a hurricane of patriotism. <laughs> and that's going to happen again in Florida yeah. if we don't beat this. If we don't beat this. Why do you think we named it Ian? <laughs> Have you ever met an Ian who didn't own a gun? <laughs> Do your part. Yeah, maybe Do there is more context. The original clip I saw, I it just cut off right at it, like, or right at. It is funny you get when vaccinated. you take it at face value. Just like, but when a hurricane's on the way, make sure your vaccinations are up to date. Like, <laughs> maybe we should evacuate. Maybe he or, wasn't talking about the COVID vaccine. It was. We didn't. We didn't discuss it, that. Dude, if they have vaccines for hurricanes, it'd be so sick. You, maybe he was talking about a like tetanus vaccination. <laughs> uh, maybe it's a hurricane vaccine. It's a tetanus vaccination. Maybe he's worried about, you know, you float in ooh, the water. Like a you get ooh, stuck rebar. By, yeah. <laughs> rebar. He, he did not clarify. <laughs> I'd like to get a bad news. Someone was impaled by uh, Nissan's bumper. But. But. They had double dose of tetanus. So they are all good. They're mm-hmm. going to make a healthy recovery. Mm-hmm. That's, that's why we do this. That's mm-hmm. why we do it. Yeah, I took a uh, tornado vaccine a couple years ago. It just made me gain 700 pounds so that a tornado, a tornado couldn't lift me up and right. take me away. Oh, and yeah. then I just kind of peed it out slowly. The side effects of that were brutal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was uh, kidney failure. Right. Um, but I did not get swept away. You just, I just <laughs> kept finding myself in basements. I don't even know how. I, was I only ate non-perishable canned goods for two years. Right. But hey, I beat it. Yeah, I beat it. Earthquake vaccines. I heard the people. I have some people out in L.A. They mm-hmm. get those. Yeah. What happens to them? Uh, you just kind of, uh, you know, Parkinson's. <laughs> mm-hmm. The disease. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of a a t- temporary onset of that. So when the world shakes, <laughs> you don't like, even notice. You just yeah, you can go run a mile, uh, and then it kind of. You you this go is back to horrible. The, what this an is answer. Horrible. <laughs> um, That's enough. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what we're talking about anymore. Um, uh, Props to Biden. Can... Not a lot of other presidents would have the nerve to suggest a natural disaster vaccine, and I like that he did that. And we mm-hmm. need to have more of it. Okay. It's a little bow I'm tying around it. Um, I get. That's great. What when do the when does the baby get vaccines? They get a lot of shots when they're in the first like six months to a year. Just it's rough. I too. mean, a lot of crying. yeah. You should ask Derek. He once again more expert than here. Mm. Well, the books I'm reading. Yeah, what are you learning? I'm still uh, dying to re- know. <laughs> the book I read said uh, sh- uh, she'll have it figured out. Oh, I see. So that's made me feel more at peace. I see. Mm-hmm. I see. Yes, I will do everything. Love that. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. Keep you guys posted on our child's vaccinations. And uh, good. Well, let's listen to Alec Baldwin. Alec Baldwin, right? He's back in the news. Yeah, I don't know how old this is, but it's been making the rounds recently. Uh, Alec Baldwin left a voicemail to his 12 year old daughter. Hmm. We talked about him last week. Uh, this voicemail when she was 12 years old. Little pig. That's just that's, crazy. Uh, yeah, that's. <clears throat> um, so should I 
stop reading Alec Baldwin's fatherhood book? Or <laughs> that was the one I was reading. Yeah. That's not a great. There were a lot of pig metaphors. Yeah. I thought they were talking about like toes, like take piggies to the market. And now. What did she possibly do to this man? I don't know. I, I, I am know. a little hungry for some context, but I love that she was a kid. And we know he's, she was a kid because he doesn't even know her age, too. Or whatever, 12 or 11 years old. 11 or 12. Uh, you know, you get it. You get it. I'm going to straighten you out. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to, I don't, I'm not around very often, but today I'm going to fly there for one day and straighten yeah. you out. <laughs> mm-hmm. Remind me again, which, which mother of yours uh, you're staying with? Which, which wife am I? I so I'm confused. I just shot a guy on set. All right. So I'm, I'm all sorts of confused. A all over the place. Remember, he has like seven kids with Hil- 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 Hilaria. Oh yeah, we did talk we about talked last, about last week. week. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Malaria's good. Yeah. Okay. Well, seems to be a thoughtful father. <laughs> what? what? That stinks. That stinks. Some of these people. That's what's fascinating about the new wave of fame. Of it used to just kind of like this person famous, famous thing, do whatever they want. Now it's like, well, Alec, Bald- Alec Baldwin's probably not going to be a major actor in the near future. He is calling his daughter a little pig. Thoughtless yeah. little pig. Firing guns. You probably should do that stuff in person, so it's like not recorded. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. No, yeah. That's the lesson I learned. I yeah. Like the is Brett Favre thing. What you guys are. I think the the most yeah. incredible part of that whole thing is that how dads are still leaving voicemail. Yeah. Long ones. She, the best part of that is that she didn't even listen to it. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I just delete voicemails. I'm not listening. Can you yeah. imagine just clicking the voicemail view translation from dad? Yeah. Three minute voicemail. Has he not figured out? It's just Siri reading off thoughtless pig straighten you out hop on a plane how old are you <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh. I, just, I saw that come across Twitter this week and I was like that is just that is too bad that is unbelievable hope she's doing okay I don't know how old she is now but yeah I wonder how old that is let's just look Alec Baldwin well what is, he did. is he like off scotch free from that he has, disaster he has 10 kids seven kids in 10 years and the last one That's was right. just born. So she can't be that old. That's good math. Engineering school. Pretty smart. Learned a lot of things. You're so smart. Yeah, it's crazy. Wow. Um, Alec Baldwin, who was in a custody battle with his ex-wife in 2007, said in a voicemail directed at his daughter at the time, your rude, thoughtless little pig. Oh, yeah, 15 years ago. Oh, so these, Ireland these are other, Baldwin. These are other children. Yes. Not with Hilaria. How many kids does he have? How many kids does he have? I don't know. You're the math... You're the math genius. Everyone's given uh, Nick Cannon all this crap. I mean, <laughs> what is? <laughs> I don't like bald. I don't understand how these men have so many babies. He has eight. Okay, so just the one, and then seven with. Mm-hmm. Her name is Ireland Baldwin. She's six one. Whoa! Whoa! That's a big pig. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. Hey, you can call her thoughtless all you want, but you can't can't knock her on her on the size. Yeah. She's a <clears throat> huh. what, 12 he was probably like this is my last year I can probably straighten I, her out I can take her yeah she turns 13 she's a teenager and she can take me anyway that's just too bad um, lesson being uh, don't glamorize celebrities because they probably suck unless of course they're an influencer doing releasing their first ever comedy special yes then you should trust <clears throat> you know He's a great guy. He's going to be a good father. He's studying to be one. He turned down mm-hmm. $1.5 mm-hmm. billion dollars to be on Paramount Plus. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, so yeah. pretty honest, cool guy. Pretty big deal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> he, uh, yeah. Katie, you want to chime in or? Oh, what's I, did you? She fell asleep. Yeah. <laughs> <Gosh>. <laughs> Need some propel? I don't wake you up. Oh. And some black cherry here. Mm. Black cherry. Mm. Does since it taste a little bit like cough medicine? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Since there's no sugar, what is in there? Um. Yeah. Read it to us. <clears throat> First in the ingredient. Metric system. Water. Great. Thank great. you for the claps. Next, we have citric acid. Mm. Now, is it like most acids, where it's not good for you, or is this maybe one of those one no, of those good acid, acids? Your body needs acid. <laughs> it's a good. That's like a stomach acid. Yeah, citric acid. It's one of the top nutrients of your. Body. Yeah, Adam and Eve. They were big on acid, mm-hmm. right? Or how the body was supposed to be. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was. The, remember that tree of life. Just a nothing acid. but citric acid. Yeah. <laughs> so that's probably good. Um, sodium hexametaphosphate, in parentheses, to protect flavor. Which who doesn't want their flavor protected? Mm-hmm. 
It's like a little army for your yeah, it's like a a little army. Of <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> If we had this around Fort Myers, it would be okay right mm-hmm. now, I think. Get up some hodium, sodium hexa. Uh, you Next. You got it, yeah. Natural flavor. So oh, natural I love black natural cherries. Flavor. Yeah, they just dropped a couple black cherries in here. Squeeze yeah. that flavor in there. Squeeze it in there. Mm-hmm. Next, uh, you don't love to see this. Just salt. It didn't even say like sodium and some fancy word after. Just salt. Just table salt. I, I, <laughs> I prefer Epsom to see that. Salt. Actually, quite honestly, I prefer oh, to see that. Good? I mean, rather than some weird chemical. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, I'm learning. I'm oh, learning. Yeah, okay, yeah. salt's good. Salt's yeah. good. Um, potassium sorbate, or is it sherbet? <laughs> potassium, potassium sherbet. 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 sherbet it's yeah. basically a banana like sherbet. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. Helps with the flavor. Oh, yeah. oh, in parentheses, preserves freshness. I got multiple armies oh fighting here. I mean, this is one of the, the better that drinks. That will you not can... go bad for 100 years. That's in the vaccine. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I'm impressed. Very far down the list, you finally see sucralose. So not bad. It's a salty little drink, um, but it's got vitamins in it. Oh. C, E, B6, and niacin. And a bunch of acid. Yep. I'm, we, need a lot, we need to stock up on that. Yeah. Cheers. It's like borderline a meal replacement. <laughs> <laughs> Niacin can treat cholesterol and triglyceride levels. But does it protect it? No. no Dang it. No. Sorry. Gonna need more sodium hexametaphosphate. Yeah, if, I, if I'm gonna have natural flavors, I want them to be protected as well. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Do what um, Christopher Columbus and the Pilgrims couldn't do, mm. you know? Protect, protect the, naturals. the naturals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Katie, I was kind of hoping you yeah. would kind of chime in, explain mm. it to Trey. Yeah. Sorry, I, that one? I was told not to do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's falling asleep over there. Yeah. I'm tired. You know, I'm pregnant. I'm tired. Oh, and I blah, know. Blah, you you know. didn't get to see all of it last night. Yeah. Oh, that's what I was going to say. I've watched two thirds of something else. I, there's three episodes of uh, this new show on Netflix called The Bling Ring. You seen this? Oh, heard of this? I've heard of it. have not seen it. Uh, yeah, it's always risky when you start watching a show that you haven't heard anyone talk about. You're like, this is probably not going to yep, be that great. That's the first I've heard of it. But <laughs> I just, I was like eating a meal. I was like, I'm just going to put something on his homepage of Netflix. It's somewhat interesting. It's the story of these kids back in like the era when we were all in high school. It's a true story, and it's like a, it's a documentary, so you get to you know hear their actual stories, their interviews. They were just rob their high school kids, and they just robbed like Paris Hilton's house and Orlando Bloom's house. They just realized that like, hey, a lot of these celebrities in Beverly Hills, one, they don't lock up like a window or a door. And two, like when it's Oscars night, we know they're there. We know they're gone. And so they would just go and just they called it going shopping. They would just go to Paris Hilton's house like once a month and just take her clothes. Oh, and multiple she even times. Know. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. They would just take minimal stuff. She had no idea. Yeah. Paris Hilton never noticed um, until eventually they got some other guy to kind of take the fall because he took a bunch of like jewelry and diamonds and like money. And then she r- reported it. But. Yeah, they were taking all these like designer purses and just like little just petty cash and she never noticed. Wow. So it's kind of interesting. Just like, wow. It's like several episodes. Three episodes. Okay. It is. I mean, I would assume that those celebrities would maybe have some sort of security, especially if she, you're a woman. I, I would, if I was a that famous of a woman living alone in a big house, I would have like an actual security person. Oh, well, I know. That's we a know, good okay. point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you I have a like fire ladder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, most I think these people. May, Pierre Silton's probably not the uh, the model of the most normal woman. You know, I think most mm-hmm. normal women were probably green with you. They wake up at two in the morning. Like, what happens if there's a fire right now? Mm-hmm. We're yeah. dead. Yeah. And then you know, I then you Amazon a fire Amazon ladder. A fire ladder, and it's, you know, wait, anytime wait. the ring says like there's someone at your door when we're out of town, she'll be like, look. It's just the UPS guy. <laughs> so the we're gonna have a we we had the uh someone to clean the house scheduled and then we're like gonna be out of town. She's like, should we allow them in our home? No, yeah, I said fine. should we give them the code? That is very different. I yeah, I'm like it's they're nice. I mean, why I guess you never know. What if they sell it on the dark web? Exactly. And the, and the bling team exactly. shows up. Exactly. Bling <laughs> team. The bling team shows the up. The bling team is going to Because the bling head. ring is in prison. So the bling team. <laughs> the bling team. Is their younger will siblings. Show up. They've, they've While we are at <laughs> the awards for best selling special. <laughs> yeah. the Who turned yeah. down Netflix guy. Yeah. That award show. Yeah. Um, fun fact about Paris Hilton, though, is that 
well, more, more so a fun fact about myself is that I was oh, mistaken fun. as Paris Hilton. Wait, you were going to say fun fact about Paris Hilton <laughs> yeah, to start yeah. this story? She was mistaken that, for Katie Kennedy. Is that, yeah, some of and where? Me. Yeah. Um, that, that's the best part. I was in Atlanta at an H&M. Exactly where Paris Hilton would be. <laughs> Shopping at yeah. H&M. This, They're like, you must be doing that reality show where you go to hang out with like normal people. Yeah. Like, it, is yes. this Undercover Boss? Yeah. No. Do you own H&M? No, it wasn't. Co- what was it called? It was her and Nicole Richie. Yes. And they would go to simple these life. farms. Yeah, simple, simple life. life. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They would go to quote unquote normal jobs. Um, yeah. This like man was kind of following me around the store and I started kind of like getting freaked out. I'm like, what is going on? I said, and hey, then, blink team, get away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He finally... Like I kind of turned around. He was kind of like, oh, I really thought you were Paris Hilton. I'm so sorry. That's cool. What year was this? Uh, probably like 2013, 20. I was in college. I'm okay. a Seuss years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're like, we saw you massaging. <laughs> Down on your luck. We're good. And we got the goblin and Paris Hilton. Um, thank you. Sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, um, man, we're <clears throat> special coming out. We're gonna be Dayton, Ohio soon. Yep, we're gonna be in Dallas when you're listening to this, but not for a comedy show. So good luck finding us. We're yeah. not gonna be at H and M. Good luck tracking us down. Okay, I might be at an H and M, so oh. you might find me there. But I'll be at my in laws <laughs> house. Don't try to break in. Bling te- ring, ring bling, bling scheme, bling, bling scheme. <laughs> no, uh, well, you'll. That won't work. My parents are filthy rich. Yeah, they are. <laughs> so gated community. Don't try to steal anything. I wish they were. <laughs> How much do you think they'll leave for us? Just like a ballpark. Well, there's five kids, so divided. Do you a think lot. they'll do that evenly? No way. Mm, you I got would, some ground to make up. You, I, I, you'd say I, your father's a, a nice, a southern conservative. Capitalist man. He won't leave any for me and he'll leave all for my brothers. Is that what you're saying? No. <laughs> I'm saying he should reward he should reward based on performance and merit. Yeah. Is there anything mm-hmm. really cool that you've had your eye on? Like uh, sounds like Derek. His daughter. Has kind of. <laughs> yeah. The most valuable thing he has. His daughter for a while now. <laughs> be good to go. That reminds me of something really quickly. I took a picture last night. I almost forgot to mention on the podcast. They have a swimming pool. I went to the new house (laughs) that I bought, and we're still receiving mail from the old tenants. And just look at this. Who was getting mail? Can you see that? (laughs) It's a new form of Katie. It was like the podcast bit came to life. It says Katie, and it's K-A-Y-D-E-E. We were like joking you about how you bought your house from Katie. K D. K D. Oh God is real, dude. <laughs> she yeah. she really K D. K D. You really have to say it like that. It just seems like it would be Southern. K A Y D E E. All right. New Katie. God, this shirt. New Katie just dropped. This shirt. We're gonna have to move some of the words to the back of the shirt. We are. We are. I couldn't believe that. I was like, that's unbelievable. Just really is. We, we were joking about all the crazy spellings, and I don't think we came up with that one. No. Like, that one's too weird. Yeah, that's number seven or eight, right? Yeah. K A T I E. K A T Y. K A D I E. D I E. C A T I E. K A Y D E E. K A D I. K-A-Y-D-E-E. K-A-D-I. Yep, the radio station. <laughs> all right. At least six to eight. Wow, how long are we going? Hour fourteen. All right, Great. we're uh, we've got to run to the airport. A little shorter. Um, so excited for y'all to see the special finally. Um, so if you've been out to the show, I hope you get to check it out again. See the finished product. Really proud of it, and uh, also we'll see you on the road. We we've been uh, working on new material. Yeah. Jake's been killing it. Yeah. Katie doesn't come anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah, you coming to Dayton? No. Good. She'll, Hold down the house so no one steals goes, anything. Yeah. <laughs> she goes to Vegas and Miami. <laughs> She's not coming to Des Moines. Oh, you might. Oh, I might. It's, cl- it's close. No, Des Moines is going to be fun. Mm-hmm. Brad's coming. I think my parents are coming. Oh, Rachel's it's coming. a party. Rachel's okay. family's coming. Yeah. Great. I'll be there. Did that you move were, the needle Yeah, did that move the needle? <laughs> it sure did. Imagine being eight months pregnant and running around with Jake's parents. 
Sounds lovely. It's be I think very that would fun. be fun. It would be. Yeah. I, you can go in like between a, shows. You guys could go look at Christmas lights. Go to Zio's. Love that. Yeah. Huh. Love that. Huh. I'm excited. Uh, thanks, y'all. Uh, we, uh, we love that y'all are loving the podcast as we new studio, new stuff. So keep subscribing, sharing, and uh, we'll talk to you next Wednesday. Peace. Correct opinion.